Hello and welcome to another video on abstract thesis series and in today's video we are going to discuss one newly released function in Power BI in April 2023 release and the function is row number. Now this function is released with the rank function and it has a function which is very similar to rank but it is kind of you know continuous. So in case of rank, you can have dance and you can have skip where what happens like let me give you an example here it has been given. So what happens in case of rank if something repeats, it is going to give same number and then skip means now because 41 repeated two times there is no 42 directly there is a 43. Now In case of dance though 41 release repeats twice there would be a 42 means there would be continuous number but there would be repetition. Now in case of row number it doesn't repeat it's a row number basically. It's the same as database row number. Row number means no two row num can have same number and it's a row number. Now another big thing which this function which you know we could have done very similar thing with the rank x function but this function can works on columns. Now till now our major functions do use to work on majors but this function can you know work on columns like if the example which they have given is that inside the customer dim they are ordering on the date of birth. Now date of birth is a column remember it's not a major here. So we are ranking on that. That's another difference. And this is coming from the same series of function where we are using order by and partition by which we have got in December 2022. Now this is in April 2023 which then we previously we got in December 2022 the function windows offset and index. Now let's look at the syntax of this function and let's what is this function. So this function returns unique ranking for the current context with the specified partition stored by a specified order. If there is no partition for the complete one, if matched, if a match cannot be found, it is going to return row number as blank. So now let us look at the syntax. So in this syntax, if you see in the row number, first argument is relationship. There is no skip or dense uh, uh, option here because row number doesn't have that. Now second is order by means you need to give what order by you want. So the relationship should contain order by but in this release we do have we can write down expression in order by so we need to explore that out we have not explored that into the video in the rank so let's try to explore that here then we can have blanks or keep here and then we have partition by now we can skip one of the argument and can have partition by so now this is the syntax let jumps walk back to the release the april release and then now let's try to so this is one example which is given here which we have already seen and then there are few more notes which has been given and the thing which I was talking before is that you know order by function update where they are able to write down the uh, the expression here. Now we will see can we we will be able to write down net or something out there. Now to do that let's go into the Power BI and in Power BI I'm going to start a new one just just to have a sample like you know what we can have is basically I'm going to bring in brand. Now first of all uh, with the brand because my brand level data is pretty much sorted out let me also bring in net here. I don't have a repeating data here so for me the rank and the row number are not going to make any difference here so it's going to be same but let's let's learn this function so I'm not going to create a rank x here for your example I'm just going to show you the row number so let me call this as row number one and in the row number one I would like to sort the brand I want to create on the brand so so row number is the function which I'm going to use all selected item brand is something which I'm taking and then I'm saying order by item brand and I don't want blanks and this thing so I simply say this is what I want that's all that's the simplest thing I could have there row number one let's see where it is got created and I add it here now it's going to give me from brand so if I sort on the brand that's the same order it's going to give me no difference let's say I want to do it on net then how do I do it and now what I would like here is basically it's saying you can write down the expression so can I use the expression without doing anything else so what I am going to do is I am going to call this as row number 2 so again all selected the relationship and in the order by let's try net which we have not written in the all selected okay let's see can we do that and this is what pretty much we were doing with this rank x function in the past and this has taken that argument Remember this order by has taken that argument and now there is no more requirement of adding that and that could add real good advantage to the, to the functions which we have learned in the past index offset and all those things if it is working there nothing like that 
because they are specifically we have to add the majors and now the majors we we can actually write down in order by see i have not added it here if you look at my previous example even the previous video of the rank i do have cre added it by using add columns here i have not done that but this example will not give you the importance of row number you see this is what there's no no ties here bring in some data where we have the ties and then show us isn't it so i need to bring in a data where we i have the ties and the one of the one such data where i have the ties is basically my sales state data now but if i simply bring in my sales state data without uh, anything like order number that is going to not going to make any sense now this data is pretty large so let me show you that now this is i'll use don't summarize so i'll get my all 30000 rows it is not so large but comparatively it is large and let me bring in sales state now and also bring me quantity now both these things are having a lot of repetitions now if i simply and i just simply want you know the ranking on my dates isn't it so rank and row number so let's try first of all row number and then look what's the difference between rank and row number so row number we are in row number 3 now and we would like to now rank dates okay only sales date we are ranking okay so we say row number and we say all selected sales date we are not talking about anything else we are just saying we are just interested in sales date and then we are also saying order by order by we are also interested in sales date and let's bring in row number 3 here now what you are seeing here is 1111111111 our expectation was it should con continuous okay so why we are not getting the continuous numbers so why this one is not working so now look at our visual we in the visual we do have a ticker column which is actually repeating it what's that column is basically order number it's the order number if i would not have taken order number this date would not have repeated isn't it in power bi this rate rate would not repeat if i simply take the sales so it means the order number do have a play so my dates are unique in reference with the order number so what i need to do here is in the all selected i need to date and this is what the example which is not there on the uh, this one because they have used the customer table and in the customer table the customer id itself is the unique one the lowest level at that one the customer ids are not repeating and then we have the date so the customer name is unique so that's why we we will not be able to get that now in this case the unique combination is order date and this one and now when i get this unique combination inside this unique combination now when i order the order date using the row number then it's going to work properly so now you can see that this combination is giving me correct date now same way like it, if i have this you know the customer id and the sales order date i can go so now let's look at one across table example now in this across table example what i would like to do here is basically i want to bring in the name from the customer and i would like to bring in the sales date from the sales now these are two different thing and now here i actually wanted to have a row number now rank i have already shown you one example in the previous video now here what we are going to do simply here is basically row number 4 and we will have row number now how do we get across the table so so the way to go across table um, now which we are going to use here is basically summarize all selected sales and we are going to say customer see the combination we need to have unique customer and sales sales date so this combination should generate the unique keys okay and then we are going to use order by which is sales sales date now we have the order by next is you can have the keep or the blank or then you can have partition by or simply you can have partition by and here the partition by is going to be customer name so inside the customer name now because there are very few chances that the dates are repeating so the number is going to be the the way it is going to behave should be very similar to the what we have now it do change the visual sometime that's the challenge what we have but you can go ahead and bring in a table visual and again we seeing some okay now this is this is another problem what we have now let's sort the customer 
now you can see the correct number so it do have and and these are visual level calculations so it's going to be have what is there in the visual so you need to take care a little bit around those things so hope you uh, will go ahead and try these things out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you